Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for Eureka's June announcements. We've got three titles this time, two Masters of Cinema titles and a Eureka Classics. Uh, let's just jump into these titles, have a look, see what they have to offer. First up, we have Outside the Law from 1920, directed by Todd Browning, the man behind Dracula and Freaks, and stars Lon Chaney. It's a crime movie. Um, I don't know anything about it. So, while under contract at Universal Studios, Browning crafted a series of melodramas with strong female protagonists, women on the wrong side of the law who stood defiantly against the men who tried to control them. No actress better personified this tough, glamorous anti-hero than Priscilla Dean. And outside the law, Dean plays hard-boiled jewel thief Molly Madden when her father is framed for murder by Black Mike Silva. Molly partners with a safecracker, Dabber Bull, to stage a double cross of her own. It's uh, mastered in 4K from a 1080p presentation, musical score by Anton Sanko, new video interview with Krim Newman, alternate ending from a 16mm print of the film created in 1926 for a re-release of it, and a collector's booklet. Now, I'm really interested that Todd Browning is someone that I, I know of. I've seen a few of his movies I'm really interested in this one. It looks pretty amazing. I've seen the trailer on Eureka's YouTube panel and sold, sold on this one. Next up, we have The Shaolin Plot from 1977, out on the 20th of June. Um, after his work directing the action sequences of King Hu's A Touch of Zen, Sammo Hung worked with director Huang Feng on a series of martial arts masterpieces which continuously broke ground for action cinema, the culmination of which was the Shaolin plot. Hong Kong movie veteran Chen Sing plays a tyrannical ruler with the aim of collecting all existing Chinese martial arts manuals in order to obtain ultimate power. <laughs> <laughs> After obtaining the Wu Tang manual, he sets his sights on the Shaolin temple and the secrets of their fighting style. Two Shaolin monks must team up with Wu Tang fighter to defeat the villainous despot. Seen the trailer for this one as well, and Samo looks very different. Uh, this is a limited edition O card slipcase, original Mandarin audio, optional English dubbed audio. Optional English subtitles newly translated, new feature-length audio commentary by film experts Frank Jeng and Michael Worth, uh, new feature-length audio commentary by Mike Leader and Arne Vinema, original Hong Kong theatrical trailer and original export trailer, and a, a limited edition collector's booklet featuring new writing by James Oliver. I know very little about this, even checking the trailer if out of these three titles, this is probably the one that I would leave behind, if anything. But I'm relying on you guys to tell me otherwise. And next up, we have Execution in Autumn, which is a Master of Cinema title, which, to be honest, looks like my pick of the month. Um, since his childhood, Pang Jeng has been spoiled by his rich grandmother who raises him after the death of his parents. Unable to control himself in a fit of rage, Gang kills a pregnant woman who indicated him as the father of her unborn child and her cousins. For this, he's sentenced to death and will be beheaded in the autumn, the traditional season for executions. His grandmother tries to save him, but this proves to be a task beyond her means. So she makes him marry the young Lian an orphan raised within the family in prison so that he, the pie line does not die out. Um, this is a 50th anniversary title. It was a 1080p presentation from a 2K restoration. It's got a slip card, original Mandarin audio, optional English subtitles, a new video piece by Tony Rains, and a collector's booklet. By far for me, this looked like the most exciting release. Just something about it just struck a chord. Um, it looks colourful. It looks as if it's like a kind of man coming to terms with his existence and his choices after the fact of making something truly horrific. Um, it looks epic and just awe-inspiring. 
I, I don't know, there was just something about that one that just looked amazing. This is the three titles that we have for June. For me, I'm getting Outside the Law and I'm getting Execution in Autumn, the Shaolin plot. I am going to rely on you guys to let me know your thoughts on that one. As always, I would love to know, are you interested in any of these? Is there anything that, that, that goes, wow, I, I need to get that. I want to hear your thoughts on these releases in the comment box below. As always, there's more content you can check out up here uh, if you want to see that. And if you want to click that like button below, um, all kind of great and wonderful things happen behind the scenes. You might not be aware of it, but it does happen. You can join me on Patreon or the membership program if you want to give me a little bit of extra support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.